Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of this tablet. So, to get started, once you boot it up, you should be presented with the same screen as well, I have visible right now. And all you need to do here is find your desired language. So I do want to use English, not Polish. So there we go, English. Let's click on OK. And then we can select Start. Now, I'll mention before I go any further, uh, this setup will vary just a little bit from uh, what you might experience when you're uh, booting up this device for the very first time straight out of the box that was well not used before whatsoever so when your device is completely brand new uh, it will be a little bit different than what I'll what I'll have but I'll point out those differences once I get to them anyway let's go straight with it so uh, for your review uh, and user license agreement obviously no device can go without uh, agreement licenses and also privacy policies and all those stuff so you can tap right here on details to, to read exactly what you're agreeing to from there just select it and then you can go to the next page by selecting I agree then have choose a Wi-Fi network and that is where the first difference will be between uh, my device and a completely brand new one so typically or in the most normal circumstances when your device is new you don't have the option to skip Wi-Fi network for some absolutely stupid reason there is not a single definition or like why I need to or explanation more precisely why you need to connect to it but you just need to and this is only when the device is brand new which is uh, just even more baffling because you usually see this when the device has been reset and becomes locked but here it's the other way around so uh, you will need to connect to network and once you do it will tell you that you need to restart the device so I, I honestly have no words for that it, it's just so stupid but once you reset that device, uh, like I have, and you're going through the setup for the second time as an example, you can skip connecting to Wi-Fi and you don't need to reboot your device because from the beginning it was completely redundant. Now, because I didn't connect to network, uh, I do have this option, which for everyone who has connected network won't see this. It's the date and time settings, which always show up when tablet has no or any device android device has no internet connection now moving on we have google services so we have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data now if you find some of these a little bit intrusive like sending user and diagnostic data you can turn that off and then go to the bottom select accept and you can move over to the next page which will allow you to select a protection for your device there's a couple different ways you can protect it so we have pin pattern or password as the default ones and in addition you can also add a face recognition now the reason i'm saying in addition is because you won't be able to have just face recognition as a way of unlocking whoops i just dropped the pen as a way of unlocking the device and that is because if something happens to your face and you don't have a pin pattern or password you would literally lose access to your tablet thus the device is always going to force you to select one of these three uh, if you're planning to use face recognition now obviously if you're just planning to use pin pattern or password you don't need to select face recognition and for everyone else who feels like they don't need to protect their device you can select skip right here skip anyway So here we have a bunch of uh, Samsung crap. It's telling us to sign in to our Samsung account. Now, keep in mind, I have chosen not to connect to network. So this pop-up is absolutely stupid because if I try to log in, it's going to backtrack me back to the Wi-Fi connection page where I need to log into my Wi-Fi so I can then get back here and connect to my account. And also, if you try to skip it, which you totally can, you get this uh, absolutely stupid pop-up uh, skip out on all this now the reason i'm kind of like uh looking at this negatively is because just to give you a brief kind of glimpse into samsung ecosystem 
which is completely plagiarized just from Google, we have Samsung Cloud, which is a copy of Google Cloud. Bixby, hey Google, which objectively one could argue works better. Find my mobile, find my device. Galaxy Store, Play Store. Secure folder, well, actually this might be the only one that you actually have on Samsung, which you don't have on Google, but I could be wrong. Uh, but other devices, manufacturers do have it uh, as a secure folder. But, you know, logically, they don't need a Samsung account to actually, for you to be you, well, able to use a secure folder, which, thank you, that's how it sh should be. Now, uh, give us an account so you can use a feature of a device. So, yeah, uh, I, I'm personally against su such a thing. And obviously, Samsung account is not needed in any kind of way. So if you're planning to, you could use this device strictly from Google account and use everything Play re uh, Google Play related. Uh, and anything Samsung, you can skip. It's not like you will be losing much. Anyway, next page, we have some Samsung services. So you can go over them. If you don't like them, turn them off. Moving on to the next page, we have choose your display preference, so light or dark mode. Again, up to you. Choose whichever one you think looks better to you. And then you're all set up. So let's select finish. And here is our home screen. So there we go. That's basically the entire setup. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.